Hey guys, Darksender11 here, and today we are going to be doing an unboxing slash review of the, let me grab it, Ugh! Cougar Vantar Gaming Keyboard, RGB, because RGB is fun. So, um, as I said in my last video, I'm building a, technically a gaming PC, even though it's going to be a work PC, but the piece the the tower itself is the uh, deep blue tesseract or deep cool tesseract um the black version and it has blue leds in it and if you couldn't tell or if i didn't tell you blue is my favorite color it always will be it always has kind of liking purple now too but purple's nice but um yeah so that is what's coming up um I might do a setup when I start making it, but without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. I forgot what it was called. All right, guys, now we are about to unbox the Cougar Vantar Scissor Gaming Keyboard. It has scissor switches, it has eight backlight effects, and anti-ghosting keys. Although, like I said before, this computer that I'm building isn't going to be a gaming computer. But we're just going to roll with it. And besides, I don't think, I don't know if they make keyboards that aren't, that are RGB, non-gaming ones. I mean, I might do some casual gaming, like maybe some MMOs, like, I don't know. I don't play League of Legends anymore, so that's that one's off the market, but... We are definitely gonna, definitely gonna get into this guy. So I'm gonna take my cuticle scissors, because they're the only scissors I have right now. We're gonna cut this bad boy open. And we are going to... So if you guys want to, like, leave, sit, like, maybe start a conversation in the, in the, um comments uh what your favorite gaming keyboard is if you ow, if you game and have like a gaming pc or if you don't have like um a gaming desktop if you have a gaming laptop i wanna i'm curious what 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 people have got so if you want to leave that and then we'll start a discussion in the comments and go from there all right so that was a that was a pain in the butt to open. Yeah, hurt my finger. Okay. Ready? Hi, computer. I know you're on. Da -da 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 -da! Ooh. So, I don't even know. Let's, let's grab the main attraction here. Um, give me. Ooh, okay. That's good to know. Is there anything else in the box? No? Okay. We're going to move the box there. And take this guy out. I have you caught. You're caught on yourself. Okay. She is unboxed. She is open. Um, so, first impression, I'm, I like this, I like this a lot, it's already permanently, it already has, like, a tilt to it, which is good, because I can't for the life of me have keyboards flat, because it just, it just bothers me, because, I don't know, like, the keyboard that I currently have, like, this one here, um, somehow, somebody, I don't know who, but somebody broke one of the kickstands on the back. And now if I want to use it like elevated, I have to keep it on the monitor stand itself. And it is just a pain in the butt because I don't like that. Because it's just so far away. Like if I'm typing, like I want it to be like right here so I can, I can look at my screen. So right off the bat, very nice. It's a full keyboard. So if you have a full keyboard at home, obviously um the the backing on this 
is it kind of feels like it's been 3D printed. Like that has that material, like a, a very gritty kind of material. Um, and then this white part here are actually lights. So when we turn it on, which I will be doing shortly because I'm going to throw this piece of junk out and set this guy up because I have a lot of things I actually need to do today. Um, I will definitely show you all the different light settings and all the different... We'll do a, a little test and like see um, see how things go. See, I like this too because it's not... It's a mechanical keyboard, but it's not at the same time. Like the way... I don't remember what they called it, but the way that the, the keys are, they're scissor keys, obviously. So it's kind of, the way I describe it to people is like if a mechanical keyboard and a Mac keyboard had a baby and threw in some R RGB in there, that would be this. Cause like they're very, the keys are very shallow, but they're all like, they still make a noise, but they're not like super loud. Like, so if I'll be quiet for two minutes and like I'll just start typing on this one and then I'll show you the difference on my old I don't even know if this is e-machines and um, yeah we'll go from there so like it's not it's loud but like it's not super clicky like how most mechanical keyboards are with those cherry those cherry keys and then like this one, it's pretty much it's pretty much the same. Like this one's actually a little bit quieter. And like these ones, like I can just tap these ones. Like I can make them loud if I'm like tapping, but if I'm just like like how I normally type, because I just like move my hands around the board, like I do with these ones. These ones these ones are like I don't like this. I don't like this. Um, so, yeah, I have um, media controls at the top for music and your standard number locks. So, I'm going to swap out keyboards. Oh, actually, before I do that, uh, the cable is a very nice um, rope. It's like a rope, which is good because I don't like plastic because plastic gives me anxiety so hopefully this will last a lot longer than this guy will because like I said somehow this keyboard got destroyed and I bought it and was like oh well I shouldn't open this keyboard until I open the new one but I'm like I hate that one so I'm gonna open it and then when I set it up I can just swap out the towers and the mice because I'm gonna get an RGB mouse to go with it because RGB is life, bro. All right, so I'm going to set this bad guy up. And then we are going to see how the RGB is. All right, we'll be back soon. All right, guys. Welcome back to... I guess this is... Eh. Anyway, we're going to continue. So um, we're going to be going over the color scheme of this now, which will be very easy to do because I've already kind of been playing around with it for a little bit. So to start off, we have the first rainbow option. And this is my favorite of the two rainbow options because being an artist, this is aesthetically pleasing to me. And I appreciate this and I appreciate all that it is doing. So um, to change the color schemes, because they're already built into the keyboard, it's not like um, it's not like a program, I can't program it, which I don't mind because for now this will do if I want something where I can give it a little bit more me I will buy something that has a customizable option so to change that you hit function and then you're gonna hit 1 to 8 so for this first rainbow it's option uh, it's function 1 for the second rainbow it's function 2 so this rainbow is pretty much like the first one except it's not fluid it's kinda like a broken rainbow and um, yeah, it's it's also very pretty. Although the the changing of the colors, it it kind of is distracting a little bit. Like it's not as fluid as I would like it to be. It's not aesthetically pleasing. So we're gonna move on to the next one. So option number three is the breathing. So it'll go through 
the colors the colors that you can pick and it'll just pulsate each color as it goes and you can change how fast it's breathing by function page up or page down so if I want it to breathe faster page up if I want it to just normal how you breathe and then if I want to really slow her down I can but I'm going to set that back up to normal and then option number four is this RGB kind of pulse I'm going to call it that again you can change how fast it goes with the page up page down but with this one you can also change the direction so if you hit um, function and say for example the right arrow key it's going to go backwards I guess forwards you can go right and left pretty much and then you can make it you can make it go wherever you want this one's only three colors though it's RGB so it's not really my favorite option number five very nice um, so your standard like is just color all the time so if I turn my computer on it will be color um, and then you can change the color obviously by hitting um, function five so there's green there's this blue which I am loving I'm probably gonna keep it on this for a little bit there's yellow there's like a cyan kind of turquoisey blue there's a pinky purple and then there's white so I and then there's a steady rainbow I like I like the steady rainbow because it's not like everything's illuminated everything's a nice color I kind of get the best of all worlds and I get a little bit more color in the sense that like I get like your pinky I get like a pinky color here and then I kind of get like a purpley kind of bluey and then I get like I get more colors in between each section like this is kind of a um, little bit more pinky uh, like a little bit more orangey and then it it's just very nice and I like it so yeah, those are all of those. Moving on to option number six, we have this kind of like build a block kind of color. So it smashes two colors together. It's kind of got like a proper rainbow and then kind of like a reverse rainbow because it goes green, red, yellow, blue, purple, oh, purple, teal. So I'm not a big fan of this this is distracting because I get distracted very easily that might be a bug but with this one yeah so this one's called rhythm so you can change the speed again like the other one so I can make it faster which oh god it's hurting my eyes or I can make it really slow and then I can change the direction as well so I can either build them outwards or I can build them inwards actually that's back that's a backwards rainbow now it's not bad it's not bad uh, moving on to option number seven so option number seven is um, really weird because um, so you can kind of like build your own kind of color blocks so like if I wanted to make a pattern of like blue and green or blue and white I could do that so you have to double tap it so that it flashes white and then after you can change the color of sections there's five, six sections you can change so you change the color by the up and down key so for example we'll make it blue and then to change the section you use the left and right arrow keys so like I could I could make custom this is kinda like the most custom you're gonna get out of this keyboard right now um, only because like you can't you can't really like you can't really do much so I kinda like I kinda like this this is very nice I like it and it's just it just stays there and um, I haven't re I haven't cycled power yet for this so we'll see what happens um, if I cycle power if it will stay the setting that I chain like the setting that I put or if it'll make me redo it all over again and then the last option so this one is customized this is the most customizable one you'll get and the last one is called ripple 
so that's option number eight. So this turns off the keyboard, turns off the lights, until you press keys. So like, if I'm typing away, like this thing's gonna have a fucking heyday, and like, I don't know, I don't like it. Um, um, I really like this though. Um, I don't really like the ripple. The ripple is, it's too much. It's a little too much for me. So for now, we're going to keep it like this because this is very nice. And that pretty much sums up the computer. I really like the keys. As I was saying earlier, the keys are very nice. It reminds me of my MacBook Pro, which have the Butterfly 2 keys on. And yeah, um, I can't wait to start doing some homework, I guess you could call it. Some homework on it. And with that, draws this video to an end. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more um, gaming content. I'll The next video I plan to do will be a Nintendo Switch review because I have had my Switch for a while so I can kind of like gauge how much of my Switch that I love and we'll go from there. So thank you so much for watching, excuse me. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you in the next video.